Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about a lot of hydrating products, mostly hydrating serums, emulsions, and hydrating oils. I have dry, sensitive skin, and over the years I have realized that most of my skin problems come from dry skin and sun. So I have a bunch of products with me that I really like and continue to use, and I'm going to share them with you today. The first category I'm going to talk to you about is the hydrating serums or emulsions. And I'll go down my list in the order of moisturizing. So the first product is moisturizing enough, but I have other products that are more moisturizing than that. So the last product in this list is going to be the most moisturizing or hydrating. The first one I have here is a fan favorite. It's the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum from First Aid Beauty. It's a water-based serum which has hyaluronic acid and collagen. I do not like a lot of hyaluronic acid serums because I don't think they are hydrating or moisturizing enough. I mean, we all know that we do need hyaluronic acid or sodium hyaluronate for youthful, plump-looking skin, but I don't know why they just don't feel moisturizing enough. But this one is like an outlier, and that's why it's my favorite hyaluronic acid serums out there, because it's really moisturizing, and I don't feel that tight feeling you get after a couple of hours after your skincare. I don't get that when I use this serum. Of course, paired with my moisturizer, and it gives me like a soft, smooth, plump looking skin. It's not necessarily dewy, but it looks very plump. So it's a really good serum. And if you are new to skincare or if you're looking for a safe one, like if you're acne prone and you think moisturizing serums or like heavy moisturizers give you acne or some blemishes, I would definitely look at this serum <laughs> because this is really, really lightweight, but also packs a punch. So if you see this, it has a gel kind of consistency here and it's a clear gel but as you spread it out it spreads really well and feels really soft on the skin it also has a cooling feeling I really enjoy that whenever I use it it does not have any alcohol or anything and gives a plump skin the dewiness that you see right now usually goes away after it dries down completely but it still feels very plumping. I would definitely recommend it, especially to anybody with sensitive skin. So the next one I have here is from Cosrx. You probably definitely heard of this one. This is the Propolis Light Ampule. This one is also another soothing serum. It's really good for sensitive skin and it also helps with my redness. I do get redness sometimes, time to time. If my skin gets really dry, it causes redness and this really helps with that. And it is also really good for acne prone skin. It like suits your skin and gives it moisture. It has the famous ingredient propolis and it also has sodium hyaluronate. It's pretty lightweight, it's pretty moisturizing. It's not very emollient, it's more hydrating than moisturizing, but when I have really dehydrated skin or when I have redness from dry skin, I definitely prefer to use this. And it gives you like this pumped up, dewy look. It's not really dewy, like it's not like really glowy kind of dewy, but it is a little bit more dewy than like a natural looking skin. It doesn't have any fragrance, it doesn't have any harsh ingredients, so it is definitely sensitive skin friendly. And all of these products work for sensitive skin because I have sensitive skin and I do not prefer any harsh products. I always go for soothing and hydrating, moisturizing products with sensitive skin friendly ingredients. This one has an interesting texture to it. It feels just like honey and, you know, it's not a coincidence or... <laughs> feels like a hybrid between a gel and a cream watery consistency. It feels really good on the skin. Definitely a very plumping, dewy finish this has compared to the First Aid Beauty Serum. And this one is a really good one too. 
Some of the products in my list were included in my Kendra Beauty subscription box of January and they are also partly sponsoring this video. I've already talked about them in my previous video and I'm partnering with them in this video as well. So Kendra Beauty is a cruelty-free, vegan, clean beauty subscription box. Subscribers can get up to $165 worth of products by just paying $23 a month. And most of these products like skincare, makeup, hair care, all these products are picked by their two founders, Daniela Monet and Ivana Lynch. And if you go for a three month or a six month subscription plan, you will automatically get a free box that is worth $85. I chose to work with them the second time because I really like the products they sent me so far. And a part of their profits go to a lot of different charity partners that they have. You can find more of that information on their website. And now if you want to sign up for your own subscription box, you can use my code TEJU50 for 50% off on your first box. And Kinder Beauty also has their own marketplace. You don't need to be a subscriber to access this marketplace. They sell lots of different really popular clean beauty brands. Once again, you can use my code TEJU50 for 50% off on your first month's box. And I have more details in my description. Next on the list, I have these two Thai for a place in the moisturizing ascending order. <laughs> so let me talk about the Coco Kind first, but they are equally moisturizing. So the Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum. This is also another wonderful moisturizing serum. If you have sensitive skin, if you're going through any irritation or redness, because it helps restore your skin barrier. It has different types of ceramides and lipids in there. It's softening and it's really smooth and nourishing on the skin. I really like it. I'm actually running out of it. It's that good that I'm like out of the serum. It's not too heavy. It gives you a very softened look and it also helps with irritation. So if you have acne prone skin, I would definitely recommend using this. And if you have oily skin, maybe you can use this nighttime. It looks like like a plant-based milk to be honest it's a little bit thicker than the than a uh, plant-based milk like soy milk or oat milk but it really gives me a feel of a milk and it also feels soothing on the skin as well as you apply it and it also gives you a plump looking finish after you apply it once it's all absorbed into your skin it feels really nice on the skin. It feels really lightweight as well, even if it has a creamy texture to it. It's not super creamy either, honestly. It's like between a cream and a serum. It also nudges your skin <laughs> to produce its own ceramides, so it helps with skin irritation and redness. And I really like it, so I recommend. So the next one, which was tied with the Coco Kind Serum, is Soon Jung Ten Free Moist Emulsion. This is like a powerhouse <laughs> emulsion with all the Asian skincare goodness. Apparently, it has 93% naturally derived ingredients, really suitable for sensitive skin. It is fragrance free, alcohol free, and I really like it. It is very lightweight but it is very moisturizing. It also has like a very creamy, soothing texture to it. It spreads really well and it gives you a moisturized, plump look. It's not dewy, it's not matte. It's kind of in that middle sweet spot. It also has a derivative of Centella Asiatica and it also has Panthenol. It gives you like deep hydration and moisture to your skin and it helps with skin irritation and skin repair. And I can attest to that because I, I did use this when my skin was irritated with some active ingredients and it really helped me. It also helps with my redness, but it is not as good as the Coco Kind Serum when it comes to helping with redness, but it is very moisturizing and hydrating and I definitely recommend it. If you do not like the feel of really heavy creams or moisturizers or serums, this is a good one because it is very lightweight more of a thick like a lightweight cream texture here it is fragrance free it is also sensitive skin friendly so it's a little bit thicker than the other serums it doesn't feel heavy or dewy 
are really oily either. It has the perfect amount of moisture. The next one I have here is the Ultra Hydrating Dewy Skin Serum from Derma E. After using this, I fell in love. This is such a wonderful serum, which is also lightweight, but is very, very moisturizing. And I use it morning or even in the night before my moisturizer. And I really like this. And it has really great ingredients as well. It has hydrating hyaluronic acid. It has olive derived squalene and green tea. It is also a little bit emollient compared to the other serums. It's more creamier than your regular serum for sure. And I definitely would recommend it to anyone. And if you have oily skin, you can just use this and you don't even need a moisturizer. I mean, it depends on how oily your skin is, but definitely give this one a try. And I have dry skin and I love this. It's more of a creamy texture, but as you spread it out, it turns into really emollient serum. And as the name suggests, it gives you a dewy glowing. It's not like dewy, like a dewy makeup, it's not like a highlighting liquid or anything, but for skincare, it is kind of dewy and I enjoy that as well. So I really like it. Definitely recommend. The next one I have here is the Awen Hydrance Intense Serum. This is like this cute little bottle. <laughs> this is my most favorite serum out of all of the products I'm talking to you about today. I think I might be a little biased as well because I love Awen as a brand and this is like like science in a bottle. It is oil-free. I cannot believe this is oil-free because it's super duper emollient and really hydrating and really moisturizing. And based on what Awen says, it provides 24 hour moisturization. You know what? Sometimes in summer, I don't even wear a moisturizer after this. I love this. And if you have acne prone skin that needs some soothing, refreshing or, you know, nourishing serum, this is definitely your guy. A few other serums I mentioned already are really also good for acne prone skin. And this is also really good. This is very emollient and the most moisturizing out of all of the uh, serums I talked about today. It almost has like this runny texture to it, but it feels so soothing on the skin. And it feels so good when you spread it out. It just also has like this cooling effect. It is the most emollient out of all of the serums I talked about today. And it feels super lightweight. It is really, really lightweight, but it does give you a very plump looking skin. Awen as a brand in general, they are very science-based. This is great. This is super great hydration in a bottle, especially for sensitive skin types. Again, whenever I mention that this is really good for sensitive skin types, does not mean it's not suitable for normal skin types. The next one I have here, it is not necessarily a serum or an emulsion, but it is a very moisturizing mask. I actually received this in my Kinder Beauty subscription box, and it is the Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Mask from Rosa Teak. <laughs> I don't know how to say that name, but I got one mask in the box, but I loved it so much that I repurchased it from Amazon. It comes in like a four, I think five pack box. And I really like it. It has hyaluronic acid. Again, it's not the, not so hydrating, not so moisturizing hyaluronic acid. It's really good. It, my skin was so soft and felt really smooth. And I keep this in my fridge. So it also was very cooling for my redness. Sometimes I get redness and my face feels really hot. And this really helps. It has oat extract, licorice root extract, and a few other nourishing ingredients. And I really like it. Next category is hydrating oils. This is also one of my favorite hydrating product category, especially in cold months, especially with heat turned on, you know, the inside of the apartment or your house turns really dry and oils help lock in the moisture so your face doesn't get dehydrated dry throughout the night. Let's get into my list of products I have for hydrating oils. Here we go. The first one, I have two oils here that are like a tie. And so I'll talk about the Ultra Night Serum from Dirty Lamb first. This serum has such great ingredients. This is not 
a typical oily serum to be honest it doesn't even say oil in the name it is just an ultra night serum but this is definitely more oily than a regular serum product that's why i'm putting this in the oily category but it's not very oily compared to a lot of other oils that you would see so it has a very runny texture to it it's like running down my arm here so it has a very lightweight texture to it like every other oil will give you like a nice glowy dewy look i really enjoy the smell it's also very nourishing did not give me any acne does not give me any sensitive skin or irritation it's really really good so i definitely recommend this to anybody who wants to get into oils or you do not like a really oily oil this is really good for somebody like that the next one is the bird's bees facial oil with rose hip seed extract bird's bees has really picking up its skincare game and they are also naturally derived ingredients this oil specifically is not really oily it's like the dirty lamb serum that i just talked about it is also very runny but also again it still has that oily texture but it's not really heavy on the skin and it has a blend of antioxidants it has rose hip it has jojoba evening primrose and it's very nourishing on the skin and none of these oils that i'm talking to you about today ever gave me any skincare blemishes or problems and never gave me sensitive skin again this also has a lightweight texture to it it is also pretty runny it like runs down like water but again the texture is still an oil texture and if you are into drugstore skincare this is also a good drugstore oil that you can try and it's pretty lightweight for an oil the next one I have is the Vegan Ceramide Oil from Pacifica. This one is really targeted for quenching dry skin with moisture and hydration. And I definitely agree with that because this one is not super heavy for an oil. It's also not really lightweight, but it definitely packs a punch. It has really nice ingredients in there. It's vegan ceramides and that's why I picked this up because I'm always attracted to products that have ceramides because I have sensitive skin. I said that a thousand times. And it's also very fast absorbing compared to the other oils that I talked to you about so far. It has sunflower oil, it has vegan ceramides and marshmallow root extract, and also has calendula. Calendula is really good to calm down your skin if you have any sensitive redness going on. After I moisturize my face, I apply these oils. And this one never felt like I have a heavy oil on the skin, but it also doesn't feel that lightweight like other two oils I talked about so far. So that's why it's like in the middle. So it's texture. I'll show you and you'll understand what I'm talking about. It is runny. I mean, it's an oil, so it is going to run down. Still has a dewy look. It's an oil. <laughs> so I definitely recommend this if you have sensitive skin and want to incorporate an oil in there, this will definitely work for that. The next great moisturizing oil I have in here is from Jubel Naturals Daily Dew Moisturizing Oil Elixir. What do I say about this oil? Like, I'm so impressed by it. This is the one that I use the most on most nights. It comes with this nice pump. I like this packaging more than the dropper packaging, especially for the oils because this is mess free compared to those because those are like already dipping when I take the cap out. Anyway, it is a very thick, luxurious oil. It has a nice floral scent, very calming. I really enjoy the scent while I'm going to bed. It helps me relax. I really like that. And it's also, like I mentioned, a thicker oil compared to the other ones. So it's the most moisturizing. And if you have those dry patches, most of these oils are going to work. But this one is specifically for that, in my opinion. A pump a day keeps the dryness away. I just saw it on their website. So it gives you like a supple, healthy glow. At least it gives me a supple, healthy glow. I really enjoy using it. It has rosehip seed oil. It has evening primrose. It has grapeseed oil besides a few other nourishing ingredients. It has lots of fatty acids. And it's again, 100% natural. It's vegan and cruelty free. So one pump, as I'm rubbing it on my skin here, I can tell that it is a little more thicker. 
Oh, I love the smell. I really like the smell. Feels really luxurious and really moisturizing. Helps with my dry patches every time. And this was also included in my Kinder Beauty subscription box for January. That's how I got introduced to the Jubil Naturals brand. That's what happens with subscription boxes, right? Sometimes you have never heard of a brand and you receive that, you end up loving the product that you tried and you go research more about the brand. So this is a really nice product and I will definitely repurchase this once I run out of it. Oh, really recommend. And by the way, the Dirty Lamb uh, Ultra Night Serum was also included in my uh, Kinder Beauty subscription box. So they send really nice, cruelty-free, vegan, naturally derived brands. And that's the best thing about Kinder Beauty subscription box, I tell you. The next one I have is from Shea Moisture. It's the OG 100% Pure Argan Oil. This is the first <laughs> facial oil I tried, you know, when everybody was talking about Argan Oil, Argan Oil, Argan Oil. That's when I got this. And it, the hype is true because it's just no frills, 100% pure argan oil. It's also definitely on the thicker side and it's very, very nourishing and moisturizing. It, it makes my skin soft and smooth and I really like it. There's not much to say about this. Very soft, very luxurious and pretty thick and smells like argan oil. Like it's like a multitasking oil, very rich and I highly recommend. If you're not sure about all these oils with different oils mixed in, definitely go for this one. But again, it's just a little bit thicker. Final oil for today. It's actually an under eye serum, but in an oil form. Vitamin C eye serum from Franklin and Whitman. I got introduced to this through my Kinder Beauty subscription box. Hmm. Because it is very nourishing, comes with lots of different nourishing oils in there. And it is very lightweight under the eyes because you don't want heavy oils under the eyes because it can cause milia, but this does not cause that. It has a nice smell. I really enjoy that. And it comes in this interesting rollerball kind of opening you roll this under your eyes there's this oily finish to it because it's an oil but still has vitamin c in there and i unroll this under my eyes and then just give a dab so i majorly use this for some brightening properties because of vitamin c if you want to really see the vitamin c brightening you definitely have to use it for a few more weeks but i haven't used that long so I'll get back to you on that once I see some difference. But it is a definitely a good serum. And if you are like me and do not like vitamin C products on you, then definitely give this one a try. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you like this video. I hope it truly helps you. I know there's a lot of different products, emulsions, serums, and oils out there. But I hope this video acts like a guide and nudges you in the right directions. And if you end up buying any of these products, let me know in the comments or if you have any other suggestions that are good serums and good moisturizing oils, let me know in the comments. It can also help somebody else in the comment section. And if you have any questions about these products, you can again let me know in the comments and I always read your comments and I love replying to the comments, okay? And if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel because I make beauty, hair care, skin care, makeup and lifestyle videos. And if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up as well. And I will see you soon in my next video.